Welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream. We do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we are going to be playing our February Valentine's Day game. We're going to be doing a blind, 100%-ish, I hope, run of How to Full Boyfriend. I've got a guide so that we won't miss anything, but I have never played this game. I've only seen just tiny little snippets of it, so I have a basic idea, but I don't know what's going on really, so no spoilers, please. Backseating is okay, but no spoilers for this game. That's how we're doing it. <laughs> okay. Let's see the game. There you go. There you go. I knew you could do it. Wow. Wow. That is loud. It's loud in my ear. Um. They're not settings. All right, have fun, Lunar. Um, they're not settings. What is our card? Okay, that's just previous ones that I've had. I guess there's not there's not settings. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to turn the volume down. Holy cannoli! Loud game. Yeah, turn it back up a little bit for you guys. Okay, I think. That's probably right. Y'all tell me if it sounds off. Okay, so I do have a guide of how to full boyfriend, of like what to do so that you can get all the scenes, but um, because I have never played this game, I've never seen any endings or anything, um, please no story spoilers, okay? Because I don't know. We're gonna try to voice act, okay? Now I know this is not, this is not a gay game like, um, like, uh, uh, the monster prom was so I think all of the all of them are boys all of them are boys and you're a girl I think I mean maybe you can be a boy I'm not really sure but uh, so we're gonna do our best I don't have as many good boy voices but we're gonna try okay we're gonna try Here we go new game St. Pidgeo Nations Institute okay welcome to St. Pidgeo Nations please enter your name he, Kyoko. We're gonna be Karen. We're gonna be Karen. Here we go. Enter your last name, Bosca. Terry. Okay, there we go. You're Karen Terry. Is Karen Terry okay? Yes. Hepto for Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. Wait, so they're, wait, they're not birds? I thought they were birds. I thought we were gonna duck some birds. I thought, so like they're birds, but they're humans? I, I assume this is gonna be like perfect date where you were turned into a, a cat or dating cat. Okay, display human portraits. I don't know. I mean, maybe. Is there a reason to not? Um, I guess. Let's see. Let's see. Should I display human if I, to... if I choose no, will I never get to see their human version? Okay. It's only shown during the first interaction. Okay, so yeah, let's display them because we'll only see them during the first interaction. And it's gonna go away. All right, configuration saved. Saint Pidgeo Nation, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. The school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pidgeo Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I am often asked why I choose to come here despite not being a bird. Okay, so I'm not a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you, oh, who is this? 
Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Okay, this is one of this is one of the ones we can get a root for. Um, so let's give him a voice. Let's give him a voice. I don't know. Um, we'll do it on his next line. Ruta! That's me. <gasps> there we go. Usually you'd have been ready in for an hour by now, Karen. Overslept? I guess I don't normally oversleep. Oh, there he is. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. Ri Ryota? Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can still be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Oh my god. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. So I'm, wait, I'm a hunter-gatherer? What? Oh, the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost time. Okay, so I've been going to the school for a year where I'm a person and they're all birds. Okay, so this is first term. And it's 4-8 right now. So according to my guide, the first interaction should be on 421. I think we can just choose whatever until then. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Nonaki Kazukai. <laughs> I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. And he's sleeping. Why he's sleeping? <laughs> Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. Sleeps with his eyes open? Oh, we can date him too, I guess. This quail is Nanaki Kazukai. He's famously... Sophoric? Soporific? What does soporific mean? I don't know. Soporific math professor. I've heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. I should have given him a different voice. We're going to give him a different voice. Um, We're going to say, Ah, oh, sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Oh, I guess this is another option. Ooh, look at that! What's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. I do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and disinters. What is going on in this world? Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? I'm not happy with the voice I picked for him. Shirogane Labelle Sakia. Oh boy, look at him. Wow. It seems his fantail, this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, friendo. We have anonymous followers on here, but if you'd like to say hello, I can say thank you with your name. This is our game that we're playing for Valentine, by the way. We like to uh, do these type of like uh, dating sims. 
Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly anybody here. Huh? Hi! Thank you so much, Avatar Izzy. Do you want me to say Avatar or do you want me to say Izzy? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything from you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Izzy? Okay, I'm having a fantastic day, Izzy. We just started stream and um, I'm really excited to experience this game. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Terry Karen. Oh, because it's Japan. It's Japan. I'm Terry Karen, a sophomore. What about you? Your... Nageki. Ujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. Okay. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. Sorry, I didn't mean to, like, mess up your vibe, my dude. Yeah, it's so cute so far. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... <laughs> um, okay, the, this is the one... This is the feather one, right? You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... Okay, so we meet Yuya next. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sak Sakazaki Yuta, is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Okay, so this is Yuya. Hey. Oh my god. You heard the whole thing, right? You're a friend of Sakuya's. Oh, <laughs> I'm so shocked with green shakes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all of you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. Wow. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuta, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. You're Karen, right? How did you... I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were friends of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I've never have thought that stuck up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He's an aristocrat actually, the genuine article. In the flesh. He is? <laughs> He's a bit of a pain. So good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Wow, I love him already. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. Wait, that, you know, his brother did call him half-breed, so maybe they have different dads or different moms or something. What was his voice? I don't remember. <laughs> That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? 
You said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. Nobody's here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. And no birdie here. Ryota. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> My favorite. Um... Ethylpar, Trife, Leucobenzene, what do they even do? Care to find out? Whoa, the doctor! I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, hmm? No, thank you. I mean, maybe thank you? I don't know. Okay, Shu Iwam Iwamine. This partridge is the Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation amongst the student body. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, cyatosis, or even worse things. I don't know. I guess those are bird diseases. Some bird person tell me. Please, I don't. And I guess those were bird drugs we mentioned before. I don't. <laughs> someone explain it to me. I've never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor. <laughs> You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Do you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. So there are human schools, I guess, because she's saying she ran track when she was in middle school. But for some reason, she's going to bird school now in high school. I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Cuckoo! <laughs> this is no pudding for a man, but I guess he says cuckoo. Cuckoo! Okosan rejects that it. it's a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Does he not talk? Does this one not talk? Okasan? Oh, Okasan really is a bird. Okasan is a bird that's a bird instead of a bird that's a boy. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool! Okasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Oh, I guess I speak bird. I guess I would have to if I'm hanging out with birds all the time. Cool! Okasan instructed that pudding to be provided for new members. Cool! But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like a normal store bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Cuckoo! Spare the jests, young lady. Oh my god, is he hitting me? Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. They'll rue the day they cross Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot, and drawn, he will. Ooh. Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. Okasan has very strong feelings about his pudding. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? What does pudding have to do with the track team? It's a really good question. I have no idea. Okay. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Oh, this is the teacher again. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, the school district doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool! Okasan has time only for the track team. <laughs> 
That's good. What about you, Shirogane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism ho! Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Mm, I wonder what I should do. Koneko, welcome in. Hello, how's it going? Thank you so much for the lurky lurk. Join the... Oh, I can join student council, track team, or library staff. So for the route we're doing first with Ryota, it says it doesn't matter what club, he has no club preference. And I guess that's, I guess that makes a lot of sense since, um, no, he doesn't, he isn't in a club. He isn't in a club. But I think it doesn't look like no club is a choice. So I guess we will choose um, the track team since that seems like naturally what my character would choose. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Today is an elective day. What should I do? Okay, it's 412. Okay, so it doesn't matter until we get to 421, I think. I'm just reading a little paragraph in my guide about Ryota. This is the guide that I'm using, by the way. I'll link it in the chat for you guys so you can see what I'm looking at. You can study any class in um, any club. So I've got one with eight vitality and five charisma. So attend math, gym, or music. Um, let's attend math class. Mr. Naki dozed off as usual. The class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Okay, so this is stat boosting. Karen leveled up. Oh, excuse me. Wisdom increased by five. I need to go sign up for track. I want to join the team, but I wonder if Okasan's having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. Huh? A Karen appears. Is this the challenge then? Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. <laughs> a fit he is having, though not over pudding. Not really. Um, I want to join the track team. Do you know where the captain is? Whew. He stands before you. Okasan is the captain and a faster bird the world has never known. I never knew. Oh, well, here are my forms. Thank you. Whew. A dove never refuses a challenge. Commence the entrance examination. There's an exam. Whew. Of course, track isn't daisy chain making, Missy. I don't know, maybe daisy chain making's hard. I don't know, I've never done that. <gasps> Okasan will be your opponent in noble combat, sprint or long distance. Um, Let's do a sprint. I can't imagine any bird being very good at running that's at this school, like maybe an ostrich or an emu, but like most birds, they would just run a little bit and then they would just take off if they really needed to go fast and fly. Coo! Hump, a sprint barely lasts long enough to get started. How dull. Coo! On your mark, get set, go! How's he so fast? He can't even fly this fast. What? That's not fair. That's not right. Coo! You're still weak, but you've got potential. Welcome to the team. Thanks. Cool. That's all, folks. And so I joined the track team. Who knew doves could run like that? I certainly didn't. I didn't know. I expected this to go very differently. Ah, oh, sitting at home is so relaxing. I live in a cave? Oh my god. I really am literally like a hunter-gatherer. I live in a cave. I live in a cave. What? Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Okay, it's 421 now. I'm going to talk to... I want to talk to Ryota, of course. Because that's who we're going for. Ryota, let's eat together. Sure. Great view, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch, Karen? 
Yep, it's calorie mm, E. That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said, it's the ambrosia of the gods. Jeez, you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryota. And so I got to eat half of Ryota's lunch. This cooking is so good. We can save the calorie M-E in case of a survival situation. Wow, so I was, I brought rations? Okay, so clearly we don't attend class every day. We skip around because now it's 5-6. It was 4-21 a second ago and now it's 5-6. So um, let's attend music class today. My vitality is like really good for some reason, but my wisdom and charisma is Today is a music history lesson. So much thinking outside the box. I feel like I'm going to fly off the handle, but this is what Mozart is all about, I guess. <laughs> I wonder what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing ptarmigans. It's another word I don't know, ptarmigans on their heads. This, this game is teaching me so many words. I thought I knew a lot of words. Do you seek to mock the great master's lowborn Philistine? Karen leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Oh, he mocked me. That's all it was. That's the only thing that happened. He just mocked me. Wow. I love him already. Er, uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If we're in the fall, it would conflict with the culture festival. So it's always been in May. What are you gonna do? Oh, that's my line now. What are you gonna do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Cool. Okasan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You don't have a lot of stamina, Okasan. What about you, Sakya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It's a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? In general. In other words. Very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that... Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdies still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryota's doing the three-legged race, Okasan's running the marathon, and Saku is a cheerleader. Yuta might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Well, obviously I'm joining Ryota. Today is the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Oh, library is a choice. But anyway, we're doing three-legged race because we're trying to we're trying to romance Ryota. Oh, you're joining us? Wanna run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna run together with our bird boyfriend. Get set. Go! Ryota's running for the both of us. Pairing up a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. Yay. Good job. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Ah, uh, I don't think I did too well. Barry, yes. Mm, I don't think you did too badly. Yes? Not too, mm, nope, sorry, you did badly. No. Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I have to study more from now on. Oh no. Oh no. I disappointed him. With the festival and midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Okay, so I understand. So this game, basically, you're not playing through every day. You're kind of skipping around to the important events throughout this school year. And it's like a Japanese school year. So that's why we started in um, April, I think. I think that's how it's going. Is that how Japanese school years work? Dove smells kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuta. Yuta, what's going on? 
Salutations, Karen. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping from the staff room pin board. Is that his right voice? I don't remember. I think, I think he was like more of a cool dude. It says, Brian, the first intelligence pigeon crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics could be called the Pidge Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up now, mon ami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. So apparently birds used to be like they are in our world and somehow they got hyper intelligent. But it seems to be like just small birds. Like why is there no like peacock in the school or ostrich or anything like that? It's all just like little birds, but not like little, little birds. Like, no, I don't see any like um, finches or anything, but like seems like to be like doves. Doves, really, just types of doves. Okay. Uh oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Karen. Mm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the store and okay, we're gonna go to the cafeteria. It's apparently what we're supposed to do. I think I'll eat in the cafeteria today. Excuse me, one half dead fried rice, please. Mmm, my favorite. Whew! No, this is wrong. A fake, a vicious lie. A familiar voice indeed. Whew! This is not pudding. Oh, he's bitching about the pudding again. I know, you said. So come on, let's eat outside. We can always surround in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. Stan saw the pudding here and went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but how cut it out, Okasan? Coo! Release me at once, my rage voltage is rising. Help me, Karen. Um, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to leave it to me. Okay, leave it to me. Leave it to me, Ryota. My hunter-gatherer blood boils. Rawr! Cool. No, the beast queen shows her true colors. Pull out, pull out. He vrooms away like a car. Okasan rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. Rabbits are often in catapults? I don't think so. Ah, save at last. Thanks, Karen. No problem. All I did was shout at him, shout at him anyway. Apparently that was enough. Now we can all eat lunch without fear of disaster. Yay. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Let's see. We haven't attended gym yet. Let's attend gym and see what happens. Today is calisthenics. Ryota, you're in high school and you still can't do a chin up? Don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. Karen leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Not that I think my vitality needs increasing, but I guess like compared to pigeons, I'm like way super vital. vital? Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Kitty. Thank you. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? May mother stay healthy this year. And may my stomach get better. What should I wish for? Okay, we we're supposed to choose conquer the world by force. The other choices are rule the world from the shadows or become a famous artist. We're going to conquer the world by force. I wish to crush all opposition that rises before me and rule the world with an iron fist. Yeah. Oh, wait, what was his cause? Oh, that's the teacher. Hello, Karen. Is that you, Terry? Mr. Nanaki, you should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know? I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... We're not doing his route. We're not doing... We're not doing your route, dude. 
So um, we're going to say no. Hello? I said no. I keep clicking. Why aren't you registering? There we go. No, thank you. Um, I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay out too late. Wasn't the Keymania IIDX public playtest starting today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Okay, let's go back. Let's attend math again. We'll see if it's like the same thing every time or if there's different ones. Sir, how will integral calculus help us in life? Okay, it is a different scene. Mm, hard to say. It might never help you at all, Terry. But only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. I, I don't. I don't think I can. Integral calculus is educational candy. I'm not prepared to accept this. Yeah, I don't accept. Karen leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. We're in a different room for next period, right? Barely two hours into the day and I'm already hungry. Oh, I can't bear this. Ryota, we're in the textile room next, right? Let's walk together. Uh, sure. That was an awful and enthusiastic response. Uh, you don't look good. Are you okay, Ryota? I I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go. Ugh. You're not fine. Yeah, it's my stomach. This happens all the time. It's nothing to worry about. I'll just go to the infirmary for a bit. Could you let the teacher know, please? Can you make it there on your own? Yeah, I can. Thanks. See you in a bit. He never showed up for the third period. Or the fourth. Is he still in the infirmary? I'll go check on him after I eat lunch. A Karen marches on her stomach after all. <laughs> it's true. I love snacks. Ryota! Oh, hello. Are you okay? You look even worse than you did earlier. I'm fine. Sitting around just makes it worse. I got some medicine from the doctor, but... I'm not convinced that medicine is doing him any good. I wouldn't trust anything that doctor prescribed. Something's wrong if you go to the infirmary feeling sick and go home feeling worse. Wait a minute, Ryota. I'm going to give that doctor a piece of my mind. Wait, Karen. It's not his fault. I just have a weak stomach. I'm going to. Oh, it's a choice. Um, Go yell at the doctor or stay here. I'm going to go yell at the doctor. Duh. That has nothing to do with it. I'll be back here in a minute. That's right. I'm going to stand up for my man. Stand up for my man. Doctor! Doctor Iwamane. Okay. Uh, what was his voice? I don't remember. Maybe he gets a new voice now. I don't know. Barging in the door and shouting for the doctor is hardly acceptable practice. Shall I prepare a sedative for you? No, thank you. I want to talk to you about Ryota. Ryota? Oh, Mr. Kawara. He left some time ago. He rested here for two hours and wasn't any better for it. You did something to him, didn't you? Wouldn't it have been worse to do nothing to him? Doing things to people is my job, after all. Well, yes, but... I mean, something unnecessary. I'm afraid I can't respond to complaints with no evidence. I examined his condition and provided him with the appropriate medicine. Beyond that, it's all down to how quickly his body recovers. You can't possibly be holding you responsible for his unhealthy nature, can you? Ugh! He's probably right. He doesn't have anything to do with Ryota's weak body. Okay, but that's not the point. Because actually, a lot of times, intervening, medically intervening, is going to do more harm. That's why the Hippocratic Oath is so important. Um, and why doctors like are supposed to like do no harm. Sometimes doing nothing is the best thing, actually. If you did something to him, please do send in a complaint. After you find evidence, of course. An evil smile flickers across his face for a moment and is gone. He did something to Ryota, didn't he? Holy crap. This is dark. We got a really shit doctor in the school. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Harry. Sir. You didn't do too badly, I think. Yes? You, uh, never mind. You did badly. Sorry. No. Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I have to study more from now on. I, I choose every, oh, I guess there, 
At some point, I'm going to have to choose math every time to impress him. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short. But either way, I should help clean up the club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club! Munch, munch, munch. Okusan looks excited. Not angry for once. But still, this is... Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans. Munch, munch. <laughs> what sound is this? I knew that. Cool. I knew that. What is... Munch, munch. I guess he's eating? It looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? What? Um, should I scold him or join him? I don't know. Is there any... There's no direction in my guide for 720. There's no direction. I guess I'm going to scold him. Okasan, stop it. Cool. These are Okasan's beans. You cannot interfere. Be quiet. Where's your pride as captain of the track team? Cool. Come at me, whippersnapper. The fuck? Oh my god. And so began a food fight that spanned several hours. The flora washed in blood and beans. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Cool. You've got guts. Okasan will step down in light of your determination. You're not bad yourself, Okasan. I think I just got rival zoned. <gasps> oh. What the heck? It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Okay, we're gonna run. Ooh, it's the town. And a shrine. But all of this, wait, if all of this is here, why am I, oh. Oh, because society collapsed. I'm a hunter-gatherer because society collapsed. I, the, the image answered my own question. It's interesting that some of the buildings are still nice. Ah, oh, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail, him, fail me now, paleolithic homing instinct. <laughs> the sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Oh, it's my birthday. Well, my birthday. I don't know if it's the character's birthday. What are you doing back there, lady? <laughs> hey, you. Oh, wait, who is this? Oh, a new character. Oh, and this is a little, little bird. It's a little chickadee. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? A oh, it's a sparrow. A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. What? Her wing is resting on a motor scooter? Oh, it's a lady one. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeon Pigeonations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two-hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Uh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on! The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Toshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami. Okay, so there is a lady option. I didn't know that. I thought it was all boy birds. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident's all it would take, and then it would be the end of both of our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost something, you'll understand. There's a far-off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster walking. Do you think you'll get me there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law, too? That rules for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. I'm not a bird. And so we putted along at a zombie's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I don't have the chance. I'll... Okay, am I supposed to get a job? Yes, I'm supposed to get a job. 
I think I saw the flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? So maybe because human societies collapse, there's not any human higher education. So the higher, so like for elementary and middle schooling, she can go to human schools. But when it comes to like high school and more, she has to go to the bird school. Maybe that's the, maybe that's what's going on. It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Uh oh, another character. Pardon me, Miss. We're not open yet. If you could come back at noon. Oh, sorry. I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet, a true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. Oh boy. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I'm called Urushin Urushihara Kenzaboru. I'm the owner of Tormi Cafe. I'm Terry Karen. That was so weird to say. Welcome, Miss Karen. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you gonna interview me? I don't see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I'm a vitality girl. <laughs> I shall be relying on you for this summer then, Miss Karen. Oh, that was his line. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Karen. Okay. Today is my first day working at Mr. Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Good morning, Miss Karen. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He showed me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It was very nice. I almost want to move in. Oh no, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my house... Excuse me. Oh, another new character. Oh no, it's Ryota! It was question, question, so I thought... Anyway. Um, I saw the flyer at the station and... Ryota? Karen? What are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Karen. Oh yes, this is Ryota. You came for the job too, Ryota. Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then that's that's that. Um, Mr. Urushihara, could you use two people? Mm, sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... Oh. Oh, am I supposed to give him the job? I'm supposed to give him the job. Okay, let's give the job to Ryota. Why don't, why? Why doesn't, why don't these click sometimes? There we go. Mr. Arushihara, do you think you could take Ryota instead of me? Karen? I don't see why not, but. I don't really need the job, but Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Karen? It's really not fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day, too, but Ryota works several jobs every summer to support his mother. Mr. Arushihara is a real gentle bird, and Ryota deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ryota. I, um... Thanks, Karen. Well, then. Our encounter has been as transient as a comet's tail on the horizon, but I am glad I met you. Please do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Karen. I will. Thank you, Mr. Arushihara. Okay, so we help Ryota get a job. We're always looking out for our boyfriend. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite. Oh, we gotta invite Ryota, of course. Okay, this all our choices. We're gonna invite Ryota. Thanks for inviting me, Karen. Come on, let's go. So many booths, how are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter-gatherer instincts, Karen. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. What? No fair, I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. <laughs> That's silly. Mmm, yakitori sounds good right about now. 
and so I spent a happy evening with Ryota. Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some yakitori. Yakitori does sound really good. Oh, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Uh-oh. Hello, Ker- Oh, hello, Terry. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Uh, my homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Terry? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Oh. You're just a little bit early. Ugh. No, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Terry? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library, I want to... Okay, wait, what do I want to do? Help Mr. Nanaki study in the library and return to my glorious abode. Okay, I want to return to my glorious abode. Forgive me, sir, but I need to go home. I must return to my people with the spoils of war, lay my bloodied sword at the feet of the great king, and celebrate my conquest of all of the lands from here to distant Macedonia. Oh, have fun! He's very serious. That's what I have to do. Okay, it's now September. <sighs> oh. Um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Whew! Okasan's always having fun. Yep, yep. What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping away by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Hmm. Focus, sir, focus. He cannot focus. He's asleep. Oh, there's a beautiful peacock bird. That's not a peacock. That's a secretary bird. It's second term. Okay. Huh? Is that a student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir. Oh, he's sleeping. Sir! Oh, hello, Karen. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Karen. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just... You found this today, right, Terry? Yes, in the corridor just outside. The student's been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then, was the card laying there all summer and nobody noticed? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Terry. Beep. Today's an elective day. What should I do? We're gonna attend. Um, we're gonna attend music class again. Oh no, I forgot my recorder. <laughs> of course we have a recorder in music class. I don't think we have any spares. I do have my Hichiriki at least. I don't know what a feature. You can play that? Apparently I can. Karen leveled up. Okay. Ah, that was a productive day. Time to go home and indulge in idleness and debauchery. Hey, Karen. Ryoto, what's up? Wanna walk home together? Though if you were going somewhere else, I... Oh, another choice. Um, I would love to. The sun's don't going down already. I guess it's fall now. Oh, that was Ryota's line. The sun's going down already. I guess it's fall now. The most elegant of seasons. Hey, look! A swallow! The most elegant of birds. Oh, there's its nest. They're supposed to be done rearing chicks by the start of summer. I guess all birds are changing now. I guess so. The chicks are really small. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. Me too. Thank you, Karen. When I was young, I found Ryota freezing on the ground after falling out of his mother's nest. Doves breed all year round, no wonder they're everywhere. That was how we met, right? When I found you flopping around in the dirt and carried you back up to your nest. That, that's mean. Thinking about it, if I hadn't walked by then, you'd be dead. 
though you're still not exactly the healthiest bird around. Yeah, thank you, Karen. If you hadn't found me then, I wouldn't be here now. I remember it as if it were yesterday. Ever since, I've, I've always loved your kindness and monkey tree climbing teams. And you're just the same as you were then. Never change, okay? <laughs> Today is the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. A maid cafe, amazing. Where to go, where to go? Let's see. Karen, wait. What's up, Briota? Are you free right now? We've got way more customers than we expected, and we could really use another waitress. You're right. Oh, excuse me. Um, were they all coming, where are they all coming from? Leave it to me, Ryota. I'll give them a taste of my super made technique. And so I never ended up looking around the festival, only maids now. <gasps> Amazing. I window shop too much on the way home and the sun's already down. Wee! Huh, who's the cute girl handing out flyers? Huh? What are you doing, Ryota? The festival's over. Or is that, is that what you always wear? No, no, uh, this is my job. What kind of job is that? Y you're misunderstanding. It's just a... What? Yeah, I'm not misunderstanding at all. I need the money. Here. You take a flyer too. Um... Ryota, are you even trans? I don't... I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I'm just doing this for my... Oh my god. Poor baby. I'll ask for you when I go there. Find a better job. I think I'm supposed to say, yeah, the guide says I'm supposed to say, I'll ask for you when I go there. Okay, we're not judging Ryota. He is in a tough situation. I'll make sure to ask for you. Thank you. I'll be waiting, Karen. Oh, and my name at work is Kuleen, so address me with that. Kuleen. Okay. See you there, Kuleen. I'll tip you big, little lady. Gosh, Ryota's so sad. All to take care of his mama. Ryota, want to walk home together? Um, sorry, I need to go somewhere right now. Maybe later. Okay. Is something wrong, Ryota? It's nothing. Don't worry about it, Karen. The smile is incredibly unconvincing. <laughs> the bird smile. The bird smile. Is that a thing? I don't think that's you gotta have a mouth smile. But if he doesn't want me worrying about it, worrying about it won't do anybody any good. Maybe I'll go to the arcade. Ah, uh, that was fun. I haven't played in a while. I should practice some new songs to get back into the game. Huh? What's Ryota doing over here? And why is he coming out of the hospital? Ryota, were you? Karen. Karen, I want to talk to you. Is now a good time? Of course. What is it? Okay, we're gonna find out what's going on with Ryota. Um, well, sorry, I'm not sure how to say this. Take your time, I'm not going anywhere. Thanks. My mother isn't doing well. She was never very healthy. She did always used to catch colds during the winter. Oh, that was my line. She did always used to catch colds during the winter. Uh, yeah, even though doves are supposed to fare better in the cold than the heat, she's been getting worse since the end of September. After a certain point, I couldn't take care of her on my own, so she's in the hospital now. Oh, that's where you've been going after school. I hope she gets better soon, Ryota. She won't. She won't? He's crying. Sorry for holding you up, Karen. See you. What? No, Ryota, you can't leave. Oh, Ryota! And so he fled into the night. What? Come back. My love. We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Harry, sir, you're getting better. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Okay, I guess I'm getting better at school. Sweet. Somebody sent me a text message. It's from Ryota. Meet me in the park at 7. What's going on? I hope this isn't something bad. Ryota, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No, uh, sorry for dragging you out like this, Karen. What is it? Is your mother okay? Yeah, she's fine now. Thanks. She said, 
You're old enough already. Go spend the day with someone important and wouldn't let me back into her room. Going home is too lonely, so I thought maybe if I talked to you, I'd feel a little better. You called me. You feel better? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Sitting out here on Christmas Eve is kind of sad. Want to go somewhere? I don't mind, Ryota. Anywhere is fine with you. So I guess I don't have, like, parents or siblings or anything. Like, my character doesn't or something since it's Christmas and, like, she's hanging out with her boyfriend who she hasn't asked out yet. And so Ryota and I spent the evening sitting together in the park. It wasn't very Christmassy, but I didn't mind. I guess in Japan, Christmas is more of a couple holiday anyway. Happy New Year, but it's raining. Oh well, <laughs> I'd go to the shrine, but this weather makes the wilderness dangerous. I think I'll sleep in like a good girl instead. I won't be able to send out cards in the rain either. Fiddlesticks. Are you supposed to send cards on New Year's? Is that a thing? Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. <laughs> Sleeping. You're still hibernating, sir. Wake up. Oh, um... I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester, nothing to worry about. Okay. Oh, now it's third term. The most splendest and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. Yes, they're all different kinds of pigeons. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's legulaments. What? I think I'll buy some beans. Legumentines? Legumentines? For Valentine's? Oh no, it's probably for, it must be for White Day. Leg, legu, legumentines. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna buy some beans. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. <laughs> sure. Good evening, here for the beans? Yes, it's... Is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers, but they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Mmm, that's true, and sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... Okay, we are supposed to buy for Ryota calm corn. That seems good. He needs to help being calm. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give these beans to that special sunbury. Ryota, wait! Huh? Um, do you have a minute? Sure, what's up? Here, calm corn. For times. Whoa! Thanks, Karen. You sure? I love these. They're really good. It said they were easy on birds' stomachs, so I thought you might. I know sometimes it's tough, but I like being around you and helping you, Ryota. Thank you, Karen. That makes me really happy. You like udon, right? Let me take you out sometime. Okay. He seems happy. Yay! Tests are over, and there's nothing else to do but wait for spring break. This semester really was over before I knew. That aside, it's cold. I need to do something about the temperature in my house before I get sick. Uh, someone sent me a text message. In the park. Come quick. Whoa, what's in the park? Ryota? Ryota's huddled on the bench where we usually meet. Ryota, what's... He's crying. It's still cold out, Ryota. You'll catch a cold without a coat on. Right. Hey, Karen. My mother died today. Oh. Must be towards the end of spring break. I can't find words. I had a feeling this conversation would come, but I don't know what to say. It was a dove, but... She always got sick when it was cold. It's not right. That isn't supposed to happen. Ryota, I'm alone now, Karen. You still have me, don't you? She said the same thing at the end. Lie on Karen. And let her rely on you. But I think that would be irresponsible of me. I love you, Karen. More than anyone else I know. I love you too, Ryota. But I, how can I say this? Mother was weak. It's not as if she had a short life or dove. Oh. What are you saying, Ryota? If you were to marry.
marry me. I die much sooner than you. We're different species, and we have different lifespans too. That's nature, but knowing that from the start, knowing that I would end up leaving you alone, it seems too irresponsible. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean we can't be together. I love you, Ryota. I want to be with you until the end. I know what it feels like to be left alone now. I want to make you feel this pain, Karen. I think we should go our separate ways. No, we won't. That's what life is, Ryota. It's unfair and painful, and sometimes it seems nothing good will ever happen, but fighting on, following our urge to seek happiness anyway, that's what makes us alive. That's how our ancestors lived and died and evolved and brought us to where we are now. But we birds weren't meant to come this far. We've advanced more than we were ever meant to. That doesn't matter. Ryota, I love you. I want to be with you as long as I can, even if it's just for a little while. I think you want to be with me too. Where's the problem? Karen, I'm not as healthy or as strong as you are. I'm smart or handsome or rich, but happy. Thank you. You don't have to think about it so much, Ryota. We can worry about the future when it comes, right? Right. I don't think I'll have calmed down for a while yet, but I'm glad I was born, if only because I got to be with you. It's like a miracle. Oh, that was so sad. I, I didn't know this game was so sad. We have to part with everyone eventually. If it comes a little early, then that's life. I don't care for how long it is. I'm just happy enough being with Ryota. But as long, but, but live as long as you can, Ryota. Live as long as you can so that you can carry wonderful memories with you when you return to the sky. Aww. Is that the ending? Oh my gosh. I hope this isn't like, um, I hope this isn't like, a uh, Monster Camp where they're gonna get me on the ending song, because this is, this is the first route, so of course I want to play the ending song. Okay, let's listen. And watch the credits. Ending number one while it lasts. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, and I got the achievement. Okay. All right. So that was route number one. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. I can't believe it. That was so sad. That was so sad. Okay, so I think the way that I'm going to do this for the YouTube VODs is I'm just going to post like each run. Okay, as its own separate video. So um, for everybody watching the VOD on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.